Welcome to episode number eight of Playing With House Money present the soccer gambling cognoscenti. I am Iceman. I'm here today, as you can see, without my consigliere, DJ Pru. He was having some technical difficulties during the week with his internet, so he's not here with me today, but he will be back next week. Uh, as you can see, I'm rocking the England Red Rose. This is a rugby shirt, not the soccer shirt. And that's because we posted a plus 1066 uh, bet on Twitter this week, which was the England soccer team to score twice at home in their Euro qualifier against Italy. That cash, they scored three. Second leg of this bet is is the, the English rugby team going up against uh, the Bocca. Uh, the Springboks of South Africa in the Rugby Union World Cup semi-final tomorrow afternoon. So best of luck to the boys. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming forth to carry me home. Bring you know, bring it home. Take us to the final, back where we belong in the rugby world. So, yes, I'm representing the boys today. Uh, wrong code. It's, it's not the soccer shirt, but hey. The patriotism uh, runs runs true. So, hey, let's move on to the soccer. Like I mentioned, it was international weekend last week. Uh, we didn't have a show uh, for that reason. Um, but the international week was it was quite nice for us. You know, you can find me on Twitter at Iceman underscore ten thirteen. It was ten thirteen on Friday. Uh, we we smacked a nice winner. On Friday the 13th, as was only right, um, you know, posted in the Discord for everyone, a nice plus 500 anytime goal scorer double. We had a lot of goal scorers throughout the week, uh, over the weekend with the international break. Um, I know some guys in the Discord hit a couple of nice winners on some money line bets. There was a, a lot of decent winners to be had uh, from this international weekend, which was nice to see. Um, but even nicer than that, is to see the return of club football this weekend. And Saturday morning, we kick it off with an absolute belter in the Premier League. One of the all-time great derbies in Merseyside, Liverpool versus Everton. I think this game has goals. I mean, this this is a, a red-blooded rivalry. Um, you know, these, these two stadiums uh, that these guys play in are literally one side of of the park to the other. So it's they're literally inside the same mile radius. That's how competitive this derby is. Uh, but, you know, Everton have been struggling recently. Uh, Form-wise, they've, they've picked up in the last couple of games. So I kind of tend to like the both teams to score in this one. But I do think Liverpool kind of kick it up a gear again. Uh, they've scored three in their last couple of home Premier League ties. So... I like the the plus 100 on Liverpool team total over 2.5 in this one. Um, and that's, like I say, the early kickoff on Saturday morning. And then we roll straight into a full Premier League slate. Manchester City against Brighton uh, is one of the games that stands out from the 10 a.m. slate for obvious reasons. Uh, we all know about Manchester City, um, but Brighton have, have been a you know, a surprise package the last couple of years. Um, they've got goals in this team all over. And hey, so have Manchester City. And, and both teams are not massively great defensively. Um, you know, both have conceded goals in, in games that you probably would have expected them not to. So both teams and over feels like the play here. And the, the combined play of, of both of those at minus 140 is going in the mix. This next one, I'm not I'm not placing a bet on this one. As you know, it's it's Chelsea versus Arsenal. That's the later kickoff on Saturday. It's gonna be a, a big a big game in the ice household. Uh, my brother is a Chelsea fan, probably gonna be at the game on Saturday. And yeah, as you know, I'm an Arsenal fan. So that one's going to be interesting. I would probably be tempted to go with just, you know, the straight both teams to score there, um, but not not putting that one in the parlay. Just here to mention it and, you know, talk about the fact that, 
you know, historically these games have been been a tough affair. It's another, it's a London derby, both teams in in London. But yeah, it's it's going to be an interesting one. Chelsea possibly have turned the corner in recent weeks, um, but you know the way they've been, you know, compare these teams over the last eight, you know, both over the last eighteen months, it kind of seems like it it should be a formality that Arsenal are, are taking, you know, the three points back to North London with them. Um, but you know, you never know. I'm I'm certainly as an Arsenal fan not taking the bet, but I wouldn't mind the Arsenal Arsenal to win and both teams, or even just you know, like we normally say, the Arsenal team total over one point five should be again around you know evens. Um, but yeah, not taking that one. We've got my boys Bodo Glimt over in the Norwegian Elite Serien uh, that play on Saturday. They normally play on Sundays. Uh, we, they've got the Saturday kickoff t- uh, this week uh, against Sanderfjord. They're top of the league. Uh, Bodo are top of the league. Sanderford uh, in the relegation zone. So it should be quite comfortable for Bodo, expecting them to score three, maybe four goals. Um, the over 3.5 at minus 160, like I said, Bodo can get that themselves. But they, again, you know, they're the Barcelona of uh, uh, of the, the elite Serian. So, you know, they always leave themselves open to concede. Um, they very often concede first in games. So, you know, looking at this to be 3-1, 4-1, uh, but really cash that over 3.5 quite comfortably. Uh, and then talking of La Liga, um, we've got Real and Atletico both in action on Saturday, uh, both away. Uh, Real play at Sevilla. Um, and again, Sevilla have been in great form recently. Um, you know, had goals at both ends, so have Real. So again, I like this one for the over 2.5 at minus 145. And then as we roll into the last game of the parlay, don't want anything too spectacular. So Celta Vigo against Atletico Madrid. Atletico should should win this one, but away from home, they've been, you know, a touch inconsistent. But again, like I said, last leg of the parlay, just wanting two goals here. Just the over 1.5 match goals at minus 330 gives us the rounding out of the parlay at plus 11.26. So if we were playing it straight, we'd probably push that to, again, you know, both of those over 2.5. And you could really play any of these games that we've mentioned here. They're both teams to score an over. Um, I like those plays for all of these games, but again, only really taking that in the one game for the parlay. But when you're playing them straight, you could, you know, I can't talk you out of playing both teams to score an over in any of those games that we've mentioned there. Uh, And then Saturday night, we have the final game of the MLS regular season. So, you know, I've picked three games here that, you know, we've gone, his, you know, this season with the home team. There's a definitely a home team bias in the MLS with the fact that, the, you know, this season the home teams have, have really picked up a lot of goals. So, you know, we're picking three home teams that have been good to us throughout the season and, and, you know, two two that have been good to us throughout the season, really, and then one that has been good to us very recently. Um, just looking to continue that that goal scoring form, and the first is Columbus Crew at home to to Montreal, uh, and the second is St. Louis FC uh, against Seattle, and the final one is LA Galaxy at home to Dallas. Now, Dallas absolutely killed us. In, in our very small parlay last weekend. Uh, it was the international break. There was only three games in the MLS and Dallas just absolutely just let us down. Um, so staying away from them, but taking the three home teams there over 1.5. So two goals for Columbus, two for St. Louis and two for Galaxy, all playing at home in these games, plus 417. Now, hey, it's the last uh, regular season game, so I'm going to be playing my special, which is, you know, I'm going to have every game over 1.5, every game over both teams to score, every game over both teams to score, every team, both teams to score, and every game uh, over 1.5 goals. But there will be some more in the, you know, because it's the last regular season game, there are five or six teams here with a lot to play for. So we'll really be digging through over the next couple of days uh, once the MLS, uh, the 
the Inter Miami game that's happening Wednesday night uh, is just about to kick off as I record. So once that game is finished, you know we'll know Charlotte, you know potentially in the mix. Inter Miami out of contention, two games left. They can't get into the playoffs. I like to you know chalk that one up. You know I said when Messi signed that they weren't going to qualify, um, and fortunately for me they didn't. So I'll I'll take that. You know I'll, I'll do my victory lap uh, once you know once Saturday night is done with. But Charlotte can still make the playoffs so once we see the outcome of tonight's game we'll see what it looks like for for the slate uh every team playing on saturday night with the exception of i think dc united uh, and one other that have already completed all 34 games um and like i said we'll be looking at the games where there is something on the line uh you know all of these teams that are in contention for playoff sp- spots have got something to play for so We'll really look at that, dive into that, and then you know, standard anytime goal scorers. Once we see some some squads announced, once we see the starting lineups, we'll we'll have a couple of first goal scorer bets, a couple of anytime goal scorer bets as usual. Uh, look to really end the end the regular season with a bang there, um, and then we roll into Sunday, uh, and Sunday is just going to be a very nice, straightforward three team. Uh, accumulator for me three team parlay or three game parlay sorry so it's you know aston villa against west ham we have talked about both of these sides a lot on the sgc in the last two months um bags of goals on either side so expecting that to be a cracker to kick off super sunday uh we then in the french league league uh we have monaco against fc metz again Monaco, bags of goals. They can score goals. They concede goals. Uh, lots going on with them. Uh, and then in La Liga, uh, Girona have been, you know, a, a very sneaky team recently, and uh, you know, great at home playing against Almeria. Uh, and they've also been, you know, again, we've seen a lot of goals in their game. So. Just a very simple, very straightforward three games over 2.5 goals in each of those at plus 281. And then you can probably you can probably go both teams to score and over in these as well. But you know, the home teams, again, a home team bias. You could definitely take Girona, Monaco, and Villa over two point uh, over 1.5. You could push it to over 2.5 and round robin. Um the Villa West Ham game could go either way, but pretty confident on Monaco and Girona. You know, at least there's a double for over 2.5 goals for those home teams. Um, and like I said, you could add Villa or West Ham into that, depending on what you see fit. But you know, me, I like to go with you know either all the home teams or all the away. So I will probably s- stretch that to the Villa. Um, just again looking to carry their their home form on um although west ham do travel well so yeah that's really it for the weekend it's you know we're back we're hopefully back with the bang not much else going for for this week's episode but hey we'll be back next week uh once we're back in the swing of things these these first weeks back after an international break Again, the players, have, as we've talked about before, have been off with their international colleagues, played a couple of games, been away from their teammates for uh, a week or so. So, again, they're just getting back into the swing of things, settling back into different formations, different positions, different tactics, different styles. So, you know, not easily accustomed to just switching straight off from, you know, playing a 4-4-2 with the national team and coming back to playing a 4-3-3 or a 4-5-1. So maybe some adjustments this week, which is why it's slightly lighter. Um, but again, we'll have some in plays. We'll have some goal scorer bets once the teams are announced. So if you want to see those, follow along on the Twitter at PW underscore house money. Um, I'm at Iceman underscore 1013. I'll be posting some there. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. There'll be a free TikTok play this weekend. Um, and yeah, really just if you're interested, jump in the Discord. $10 a month, you get all of the, the SGC plays on the soccer. 
Uh, we absolutely killed it in in September. We're gonna, you know, aiming for something similar to round off October. You also get DJ Pru in there with, you know, you've missed his MLB. We're at the end of the MLB season, but you get all of his college football stuff, all of the NFL, uh, all of the NBA to come. NHL, we've got some guys in there pinging out some hockey bets, the shots on goal, like absolutely flying and, and buzzing in the Discord right now. So if you're interested, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Gilded with the Toilets to Title guys where we're talking about all things Frankenstein, start sits, trade advice for Dynasty on the fantasy football side. Hey, however you're watching, however you're listening, thank you. Eight episodes through. Super grateful to be here. But, hey, we'll be back next week. Best of luck.